Hey guys, welcome to the weekly reading for the sign of Gemini. All right. So if something is coming in for you very soon, Spirit says. Like the wait is about to be over or the wait is over. Or something is in the works. All right. So they're wanting you to pay attention to the way that. Hey, look at this. Wow, like whatever you've been dreaming of is about to manifest into your reality. We have your time is now. It's like something is, you're like, you're in the vibration of manifesting what it is that you want. So it's coming to you now or it's like something is happening for you now. Like, or you're ready. You're in the vibration. Yeah, like I said already, you're in the vibration to manifest what it is that you've been, you've been trying to manifest or you're finally ready for what it is. Um, that you're needing to manifest or it may be now is the type time to take action on something. Let's see. Tell me more. We have middle of the road. So somebody has been like at a crossroads. Yeah. But maybe someone is getting out of that energy. They're, they're making up their mind about something. Let's see. Maybe you guys feel like you've been stuck in limbo. Yeah. Bad game. So it says don't want anything serious. Somebody has been on the fence about commitment here. Yeah, I feel like or somebody has been on the fence about growing up or whether or not they or yeah, whether or not they want to settle down or they want a serious relationship. So clarify manifesting. OK, well, I guess we got two. So we have healing. So you're manifesting healing here. Healing emotional wounds is what's bringing in this this manifestation, what's manifesting this better chapter, joyful chapter of your life. You're manifesting a better life for yourself through healing yourself. Yeah. Recovering, repairing, improving, shadow work, deep healing, getting over something. And it says, take pride in your accomplishments. Celebrate and enjoy your life. Fate is on your side. So you're about to step into a much more positive, happy chapter of your life. Clarify your time is now. Yeah, something is, it's like if there were blockages, the blockages have been removed. It says the path before you is clear. Your desires and intentions are supported by the universe. So whatever you want, the divine supports that. They want that for you as well. Clarify the middle of the road. So we have poor choices. Yeah. So think again before making it. So somebody has been stuck in limbo or like in indecision because they're afraid of making a bad choice. Yeah. Clarify bad games. Okay. We got two. So we have gateway to gifts. Keep doing what you're doing and your goodwill will come back to you tenfold. So Spirit says, even though somebody's maybe been sending you mixed signals or they've been stringing you along or manipulating you or playing games, Spirit says that and you feel like you've given a lot to this person or situation, you're still going to get that. You're still going to reap the good karma for what you gave in the situation. We have bad gossip. People are gossiping behind your back. It'll be wise. Be careful with your actions right now. What about bad gossip? Epiphany? Um, is somebody finding out that somebody's finding out that somebody's been gossiping, talking crap about them? Creative forces, okay? We have inspiration, innovative. Your creative, your creativity is endless. The creative power you hold within is far greater than you realize. We have epiphany, revelation, discovery, vision, realization, inspiration, insight, enlightenment, hint, and guidance about what? Divine vision. Get out of your own way. So somebody's realizing that they're getting in their own way. Somebody's getting in their own way by talking. That, didn't I say that earlier? Be careful how you're talking to yourself or what you're thinking. Get out of your own way. Discard your projected outcomes and allow yourself to see beyond. Somebody has been letting either their own negative thoughts or self-talk or there's people around them that have been projecting negativity into the situation onto them and what they're capable of and what the, the potential of the situation is. They've been letting that keep them stuck here. They need to stop listening to what other people are saying or what, what people are telling them to do or they need to stop being so pessimistic. Somebody needs to start being more positive. So what is this epiphany? Epiphany about what? The answers are coming about, about commitment. So somebody is realizing that they do want a commitment. Commit to this next stage in your development and there will be a promise fulfilled in some form. Long term, determined and all in. So despite what people are saying about how this situation is going to turn out or whatever, even though they're, they're kind of a little bit pessimistic, it looks like somebody is making the decision to go all in or commit to a situation or... For some of you, let's see, breaking molds here. But yeah, 
break boundaries, erase all identifications, anything which fixes you permanently into one mold. And we have imbalance. So I, I was just talking about this in a reading that I was doing yesterday. I don't remember what sign, or was it yesterday? I don't know. But the, whatever sign I was doing last, I think somebody is used to half-stepping in relationships, like giving very little effort, um, not going all in. They're not used to, they're used to being a taker where like the person is doing all the giving and contributing and they're really not giving much of anything, okay? Or that's how it's been between you and this person. But yeah, look at this, unexpected and bullseye. Expect the unexpected, sudden, unpredictable, surprising when least expected, accidental, unplanned, swift, and random. And it says, nothing will get in the way. Focus, no distractions. So somebody is very focused on you. Look at this. Somebody, look at this. Who is this person that's laser focused on you? You guys may not be expecting this. Bullseye strike and sun. This card, this sunglasses card, literally says the eyes are set on the prize. The prize is you. All right. Somebody's also keeping tabs on you, but somebody's very focused on you. Expect to see major progress. Nothing will get in the way. Yeah. Somebody's no longer letting anything get in the way of there being progress between the two of you, of them being able to have this prize, which is you. But why? What's changing this person's mind? What's changing this person's perspective? Conquering? It says victory will be yours. Set your intention. So this is possibly just something that you manifested and watch it come back to you. So yeah, for some of you, you set the intention for whatever is about to happen to happen and it's going to happen. We have ghosting, not ready to communicate, not returning, called text, disappearing, cold. Oh, some of you guys walked. Oh, did you guys block? Did you guys um ghost this person or block them? You stopped talking to them. You went cold on them. You disappeared on them. Teamwork, dedication, fertility, success, sweet indulgence, achieving the impossible, hard work, triangle. What about triangle? Running, mm, resisting change. Somebody's been re resisting doing the hard work here. But what about conquering? Alchemy? Yeah, something's changing and rebuilding. But how is it getting to that point, though? How are we getting to the point where rebuild, we're rebuilding here? We have helpful change, yes. You will navigate through change successfully. But how are we getting there? What's happening that's getting... See, somebody's getting cut off. Who's getting cut off here? It says it's best to part ways to heal. So did you guys cut this? You you broke up with this person. You part... Yeah, severing ties, endings, moved on, abandonment, calling it quits, closed chapter, and walked away. So you guys walked away from this person because this person keeps going back to some type of third party because they're trying to avoid having to do some type of deep some type of hard work here this person's not used to putting in a whole lot of effort i'm telling you they're not this person would ghost you when they started feeling like it was too much work to maintain a relationship with you and it looks like they would go and like start exploring their options try to find something that required less than you or that wasn't as serious as what is you or they would go back to somebody that they felt like was not as high maintenance as you it's like they kept doing that but then but what is okay and then what about you though what about you we have cleanup so it says owning the the mess to clean up healthy choices prioritizing positive life changes accountability and releasing burdens spiritual tests and stop yep some of you guys the spirit was urging you they've been this was a test What did I just hear? Weird. Um, I just heard a weird noise. Anyways, though, um, this was a test. Spirit was going to see if, or they've been testing you to see if you would make a, the healthy choice for yourself. If you're going to make positive life changes, take accountability for your own life. Um, yeah, it says you're on the path to discover your spiritual gifts so you may grow and evolve spiritually, inner work, awareness, and calling. Spirit wants to, is, has been testing you to see if you've really done this, the inner work. That's why it's time because you passed the test, okay? Spirit was trying to test you to see if you were going to let this, uh, uh, um, assess the situation with this person recognize that you know it just still wasn't the right time or they just still weren't ready or they just still 
hadn't changed to see if you would really recognize it and to see if you would have your boundaries in place and what you would, will, would allow and what you wouldn't allow. And it looks like you guys, with the stop energy, it says this love is not for you. You guys made the decision to move on. It says move on toxic, incompatible, block for your highest good, walking away and surrendering. So you guys recognize that the situation or this person just that there was incompatibilities here that were, weren't reconciled. Like you guys couldn't reconcile these incompatibilities, right? That they were still toxic or that it just it was time to move on from this. And I feel I see you guys walking away from this person, maybe not forever, but just being like, okay, they're not ready. I can't make them be ready. So I'm going to just take a step back. I'm going to keep my boundaries in place and I'm going to just surrender. If it's meant to be, it will be. And that's what you guys did. And that's like you passed the test. That's what spirit wanted you to do. Look, golden moment on the back of the deck. Um, now that you've passed this test, it says a blessing is on its way. An important door is opening for you. The time, your time is now and wide open. Spirit says you guys kept getting stuck. Like you guys were stuck here for a minute. Like you didn't know what the right thing to do or not was. Should I walk away from this person? Should I give them more time? Should I try to make this work with them? Should I block them? Should I let them? Like you guys were very conflicted. Or you guys were just kind of staying neutral. Like not, not um, with them all the way, but not 100% walking away from them all the way. But it's like, Spirit wanted you to pick a side. And I think you guys made the decision to walk away from them. Like really walk away from them. And it's like now, yep, you have come far on your journey. Keep going and you will soon see what you have accomplished. Yep, you're very close to something here. You guys may even end up meeting somebody aligned. Yeah, aligned. Yeah, you guys are in alignment with your higher self. Yeah, you've gotten into alignment. You've ascended. See, you guys, this situation with this person has been very heartbreaking but it says pain is essential for growth whatever you went through with this person was to get you aligned with your higher self all right um and now we have rebuilding here again i know that that came out earlier somewhere too yeah over here so it says reevaluate your life to and adjust to thrive in your new circumstances focus on what you can control didn't i just say that you can't control this person so you guys may not know what's happening or what's on the other side of this but spirit first of all they want you to know that you're being protected okay but you're about something's about to be taken to the next level here you guys needed to get out of your comfort zone here yeah yeah they're telling you to be careful of making a de making decisions without all having all of the information or having all of the facts as well okay so give me one second Let's get some tarot. So you pass the test. Spirit didn't want you to self-sacrifice. They did not want you to self-sacrifice for whoever this person was that has been resisting change they keep playing games they keep running back to their comfort zone they keep running back because they're afraid to heal and face things about themselves and make some big changes in their life they're resisting change spirit didn't want you to sacrifice yourself to make this person feel comfortable okay let's see let's see what the tarot has to say about this you and i feel like you guys are not doing that anymore so we have the queen of pentacles so some of you guys could be taurus Virgo, capricorn what about the Queen of Pentacles? We have the Emperor. Okay. Aries energy. What about the Emperor? We have the Page of Cups. So, okay. Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio energy. And look at this. You guys have a new emotional beginning here or an apology coming in, a message coming in from somebody that wants to kind of step up here and have an equal give and take with you or they want to give something to you. Tell me more. The Wheel of Fortune. Sag and Pisces energy. And the page of swords. There's whoever this person is that's coming towards you. This emperor energy it could be your divine masculine. This person has changed with the wheel of fortune and the page of swords. They've learned lessons. They've obtained knowledge and wisdom. Okay. Yep. And they're coming in with this offer. Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio energy. And it looks like this is actually going to be able to be successful. What else do they know, need to know about that? It could be a Pisces, Cancer, or Scorpio that you're dealing with, or a Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. Look at this, guys. The lovers. I can't show it on camera. 
But this is a, su a successful divine union of two people, six of cups, of, of soulmates, twin flames, whatever it is. Um, what about this? This is somebody, the sun, the six of cups. A re uh, a, look at, guys, I cannot even tell you how positive this is right now. The six of cups, the sun, and the nine of cups? Oh, my gosh. This is a reunion, a positive, joyful, remember that joyful chapter reunion? This is what you've been wishing for. This is what you've been manifesting. That's coming in because you passed the test. You showed the divine that you had learned your lesson. King of Wands could be an Aries, Leo, or a Sag coming towards you. Six of Swords. What about, they're going to be taking action to improve this situation, make things better. They want the two of you to move into calmer walk. See, I also feel like this person's been moving very slowly here to do something. What is this? What is this? King of Pentacles or Knight of Pentacles death to change. That's all I can say, guys. This person's been moving very slowly through these changes. They've been changing, but it's been very slow. Scorpio energy with death. Page of Wands, but let's see here. The Nine of Pentacles. For some of you, they've been taking a long time to move out of a situation, to let something go. What is this? The Three of Cups. Yeah, it could be. Look at this. The Page of Wands, the Nine of Pentacles, and the, yeah. The Nine of Pentacles, the Three of Cups. They could have needed to free themselves from a third party. It looks like they're becoming, yeah. Yeah, the, yeah, the Hanged Man, Pisces energy, let somebody go. Release something, make a sacrifice. See, the problem with this situation, too, was that you were making all the sacrifices. They weren't making anything. They wanted to be able to stay the way that they were. And their life remained the same way that it was and also have you too, which meant that you had to make all the sacrifices and that was not fair. So now it's time for this person to make some sacrifices here. And we do, yeah, the, the hanged man and the eight of wands, I see them making a sacrifice for you. Seven of wands. What about the seven of wands? The seven of pentacles and the king of pentacles. Now we have the queen and king of pentacles out here. Yeah, I feel like one of the biggest blockages, which with the eight of wands, the blockage could be cleared. Because I think we already saw that earlier, that the blockages are being removed. But one of the biggest biggest blockages for this connection was money. Because we have the seven of wands, the seven of pentacles, the king of pentacles, and the four of swords. Somebody needed to kind of withdraw from this situation and focus on becoming more stable and getting on your level. King and queen of pentacles. Could be a double earth sign relationship. Tell me more. We have the five of swords. What about that? The two of swords, conflictedness, and the nine of wands. Somebody not being able to make up their mind here. Maybe they were in a situation with a third party for finances, and they were in, conflicted about whether or not they wanted to end this cycle. It's been a very difficult, burdensome cycle, but there definitely has been conflict surrounding them making this decision. But look, eight of cups, they're walking away from something. Yeah, to be able to offer this ace of pentacles to you. They're walking away from something to walk towards something that's more fulfilling for them and give you this Ace of Pentacles that they've been dragging their feet. Remember, we saw the Knight of Pentacles earlier. They've been dragging their feet with coming in with this Ace of Pentacles for you, the stability, the commitment. What about the Queen of Cups here? The, yeah, they're releasing a, for some reason, a Pisces. They're, they're, release, they're releasing somebody here, letting somebody go because they feel like you are wish fulfillment. Or you're getting, they're releasing this person and you're getting some type of wish fulfillment here. Yeah, the strength card. Yeah, having the strength to release this person. The courage and the strength to release this person. Yeah, strength, Leo energy. We have the hair font on the back of the deck. Taurus energy. What about it? Strength. One more. What is the seven of swords though? I don't like that. The four of cups and the fool. This person feels like they want this new beginning with you, but they feel like they're going to have to really figure out a way to come back towards you without you, like, ignoring them like or rejecting them. Yeah, it's like they feel like they have to come towards you strategically. This person feels like they're going to have to prove to you or show you that they're not this Knight of Wands anymore. A player, fickle, wishy-washy, unstable, a cheater, whatever the, the situation is. It's like they want you to see them. They don't want you to see them as the Nine of Swords and the, the, Knight, the Knight of Wands and the Nine of Swords. Stressing you out, causing you sleepless nights, being a player, 
they want you to see them as four of wands, the chariot. Somebody that does want to actually move towards settling down with you, marriage, commitment, family, all those things, the house. That's how they want you to see them as commitment material. Commitment material.